Hi friends, this video will tell you how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Your PC must be compatible with the minimum requirement of Windows 11 installation files. And the minimum requirement is being uh, listed on their website. As you can see right now on the screen. And if the minimum requirement is met, then your PC will be able to successfully complete the installation process. If your system meets the hardware requirement, then you can go and check for the PC health and uh, click on check now. If your PC supports, uh, then you will be able to proceed with the installation smoothly. If not, uh, you have to go and check for the system requirement as you can see right now on the screen. If that doesn't meet your uh, hardware requirement, then you will be getting a message what you are seeing on the screen right now. Uh, this PC doesn't currently meet uh, the system requirement. In that case, what you have to do? I'll tell you how you can override uh, this um, issue and can install uh, the Windows 11 on your uh, older uh, PC. If you go and check the Windows update, you can see that uh, it will show that the PC doesn't currently meet all your system requirement for the Windows 11. So close the window and again go and check for the compatibility. Here you can see that you can download the compatibility PC Health and you can run the PC Health. Now you can see that it again shows the message that the PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 uh, system requirement. So how you can override the system hardware requirement? Here I am going to do that with the Windows 10 uh, installer USB created with media creation tool and a Windows 11 uh, installation files and those both combined I am going to override and install the Windows 11 in my old uh, PC now. First you have to go and download the Windows 11 new ISO. You can download it from the Windows 11 uh, official website. I will share the link in my description. You can do from that. I am selecting Windows 11 and I am downloading. After downloading the Windows 11 ISO now you have to go and create a uh, Windows 10 installation media. So you can uh, download it from again from the uh, uh, Microsoft website and you can uh, go here and uh, you can download uh, tools now. Tools to create the installation media. Now once that is downloaded, just go to the folder and run the Windows installation uh, media. I accept uh, the license agreement for uh, Windows installation media. Then select create installation media using USB. Make the settings as you see on the screen now. Then click on next. Then click on USB drive. Yes, the installation media will be created on the USB flash drive. Now you can see that the Windows 10 media is creating now. And that is ready right now. All right, right now we have the regular Windows 10 installation media drive. So now you can uh, close down that window. Now go back uh, to the Windows Explorer and open uh, the Windows um, 11 ISO file you have created, and compare it with the file Windows uh, the Windows 10 media file which you have created in the USB. You can see that the file structure is uh, similar. Now go to the USB drive and find uh, the check for the windows installation file that is under the sources which is install.est you can find and uh, delete that uh, file from the usb drive we don't need that so just delete it now the next step is that you have to replace the deleted file with the uh, file install.vim file from the source inside the iso uh, iso folder of uh, windows uh, 11 you will find that file in source folder uh, install.vim. One issue here is that the file size is over 4 GB in size and the media creation tool format uh, USB drive in FAT32. FAT32 support only file up to 4 GB. You can see that the drive don't have the space uh, for the file. So you have to split the file into two parts. To do so, you have to use uh, vimlib. This is a utility designed to do uh, the process. I'll share the link from where you can download Vimlib. Download the latest 64-bit version and extract it. Now we need to open a command prompt to use the Vim uh, 
utility uh, software first navigate to the folder where we extracted uh, uh, the file and then use the command to run the process the command i'll display it over the um, screen it's vimlib hyphen image.exe then you have to add the split file that is split then from the source drive that is colon slash source slash uh, install dot beam then you have to give the uh, destination of a uh, path that is uh, that is d slash source slash install dot s vim and then you have to mention the file size that is 4 uh, GB then the tool will run for some time to split uh, 4 GB file it will take little time so you have to wait for that after the uh, split is complete now if you go to the source in USB you can see that there are two files and the source file Windows 10 installer know what exactly need to do with uh, these uh, files now everything is ready and now you can uh, restart the system to run the Windows installation the installation will run and as soon as you can see that the um, installation uh, setup will be same as Windows 11 uh, Windows 10 but uh, that the installation will be done for Windows 11 you have to complete all the process the Windows installation process like uh, the any uh, uh, Windows installation and complete the process and you will be ready to use your uh, Windows 11 you can see that that is happening here you can see in the screen now so this is how you can uh, install Windows 11 in unsupported hardware or old PC thanks for watching this video please subscribe like and share thank you